Hello everyone, uh, in this video I will talk about sorting factors of given variables. Uh, this is the first assignment of week 4, it is ML9 on IXL. So all of the ty question types are pretty much the same, let's just see what the example given in IXLs and then how they solved it. So the key idea as I mentioned in last week's videos, they will give you key ideas as we go. Usually it's gonna be like one sentence, sometimes it can be like one or two paragraphs as well, but they'll always uh, have the key ideas. Instead of like giving you the whole notes of that lesson, it'll just tell you what you need to know, the essence of the lesson. Factors are expressions that are multiplied together to form a product. Uh, product means when you multiply at least two terms then uh, it becomes a product like these two the product of 15 and s plus 5 product tells you to multiply that's what it what it is actually and the factors of 15 times s plus 5 would be 15 and s plus 5 so 15 is a factor of this one Another factor would be S plus 5. Another factor would be uh, 1 because you can always multiply whatever you have by 1. Uh, also, let me see. Yeah, these are the factors uh, of 15 times S plus 5. Now, let's get back. Let me see. The expression 9 is a factor of, okay, here's another example here. The expression 9 is a factor of 9s because you can break down that 9s as 9 times s and in this case both of these become a factor of 9s. So s is a factor, 9 is a factor as well. Unless they say list all of the factors, you don't need to make a list of all of them. If, if they just ask you what's a factor of this expression or that expression, you can pick only one. Okay, here, sort the expressions, factors of 5R. So in here, if we have 5, we would put it over here. If we have R, we would put it over here, but only if. So in here, if we have 13 or R plus 3 or any combination of the product of these two, we would pull it down in this area. So now 13 is a factor of this r plus 3 is also a factor of the second expression and this whole thing is also a factor of uh, 13 times r plus 3 because you can also you can multiply this whole thing by 1 and then you would still end up with the original expression so now i'm going to move on to the next level Okay, factors of 15 times 5. This right here belongs to that because it is 14 times r. 15 times 5, when you multiply this block by 1, you get uh, 15 times 5 it's itself. 14 times r gives you that one. And then 5 times, if you multiply this 5 by a number or by anything to end up with uh, 15 times to end up with this, then we would put it over here. I cannot multiply 5 by anything to end up with 14R. That's why it belongs to the first one, right here. This would be my answer. Uh, I'm at school. I have a good internet connection right now. That's why I can just skip the levels without pausing the video. So here, uh, factors of x times x squared plus 10, and then another expression. Now. Looking at this right here, uh, right there, okay, let me just break them down first. The first one is, the factors of the first one is itself, the expression itself is a factor. If you see this whole thing as an option, you would put it in here. Also, other than that, it's x times, this. I put a comma, I'm making a list of the factors. The second factor would be x squared plus 10. If I see either one of these two, 
I'm gonna put it in the first box now for the second one if I break it down it is 10 times x squared so if, if you see if you say times just put a comma and then separate it as a factor and then x plus 13 is another factor uh, just a heads up by the way this is probably the last question because I will do until I reach to uh, let me see until I reach I need to get rid of this okay until I reach to 80 okay so I can also break this x squared down because it means x times x so instead of x squared if I see either one of these two I'm gonna put it in the second uh, right side on this on the right side I cannot break down x plus 13 I cannot break down 10 uh, okay let's get to work so x squared I'll just name uh, use two different colors red for the so x squared or I hope you can if you need to see this you might want to take a note because I'm gonna get rid of it right now okay now I can drag and drop down the answers x squared goes over here because it is 10 times x squared in here it doesn't say x squared times another expression it says x squared plus 10 order of operation tells me to do x squared plus 10 first because it's in the parentheses remember PEMDAS okay 10 plus x squared goes in here because this right here is the exact same thing 10 plus x squared or x squared plus 10 is the same so this right here 10 x squared times 13 plus x goes in there 13 plus x goes in here so that's what that would be the answer to this question let's see what the next level is okay 90 you don't need to get to this level that's totally optional but since I'm on it let's just do this one too s if you see times s like here 5 times s put it in there 5 times I just said 5 times it goes in here let me see okay let me show you let me just mention something this right here doesn't count just because of that we cannot put that 5 in there because after that 15 we need to add s to that one so this expression in the parentheses is one thing you cannot just break it uh, it is s plus 15 that would be one of the factors if you see s plus 15 as an option you would put it in the first box because that's what this right here is s plus 15 times 4 so if you see 3 times another expression you put it in the second one 3 times 5 goes in here you can also no oh no this would be wrong in here because yes there is a 3 times 5 in here but right after this they are in this they, they just they are one term in the parentheses no matter how many things you have they are just one thing s plus 15 and 15 is not multiplied by that s it's added together it is s plus 15 not s times 15 so this right here would be over there or all, of, all of the boxes would be in the second one so that's it for the first assignment of the week it's pretty simple uh, I don't think you'll need to watch this whole video at all uh, thank you guys and I will see you in another video